Let's read a book. Let's read a book. Today we are going to read My Big Welcome, a story about kindness. I have been looking forward to being in grade first. I got my very own desk, a brand new backpack and my own cubby. My best friend Faye had her cubby right beside mine. The day the fire came, everything changed. My family and I had to leave our small town in a hurry as everyone in town evacuated. Mom told me I could not go back to school or our house. I didn't get a chance to get my art project. I didn't get a chance to take my favorite stuffy. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to my friends. Our house was destroyed. It was devastating. I felt scared. We have to move to the city. The city was huge. There were so many rows and tall buildings. Everyone seemed to be in a hurry. I was worried we might get lost. Mom, where are we going back home? I asked. Amelia, we have to live in the city now. This is our new home. Mom is smiling weakly. You also get to go to a new school. She tries sounding excited. Everyone seemed to be in a hurry. I was worried we might get lost. Mom, where are we going back home? I asked. Emilia, we have to live in the city now. This is our new home. Mom smiled quickly. You also get to go to a new school. She tried sounding excited. It was going to be weird being the new kid in the middle of the school year. Just like when Lily joined my class in the middle of kindergarten. She didn't know our calendar song. She didn't know where the bathroom was. And she was always had to ask for help. I saw her cry a few times. I felt a knot in my stomach. I didn't want to go to a new school. Mom, what if the kids in the school are mean? What if the kids don't like me? What if I don't make any new friends? I shot it in my mom's arms as I wept away my tears. No worry, honey. Everything will be okay. Mom whispered as she stroked my hair softly. I didn't think everything would be okay. I felt sick in my stomach. The principal of the new school asked me to come over for a visit. The new school looked so different. I didn't think I would like it. We were asked to go to grade 1A, Miss Sunshine's class. My heart pounded loudly as we walked down the hallway. Miss Sunshine was teaching when we entered the classroom, but all the kids noticed me right away. My hands began to tremble. Miss Sunshine stopped and looked towards the door. She gave me the biggest smile ever. Hello, you must be Amelia. She sounded happy. Miss Sunshine turned back to the whispering kids and announced, Class, this is Amelia. She's going to be joining our class next week. Then the strangest thing happened. The class erupted with a cheer. I was so surprised. Hi, Amelia. Some kids clapped their hands. Some kids leaped from their seats. Some even did a dance. Who is going to show Emilia around the class? Miss Sunshine asked. 
Me, me. Everyone said at once. Miss Sunshine Chu chose a girl with curly hair. I'm Brooke, she said excitedly. Brooke introduced me to all the kids in class. See, she showed me her art project. She showed me my new desk. It was perfect. She showed me my new cubby. Her cubby was right next to mine. She pointed to the top of my cubby and said, Don't worry, Miss Sunshine will put your artwork right there. That sounded incredible. I couldn't wait. I started to feel so much better. Maybe this new school was not going to be so bad after all. After showing me around, Brooke whispered to me, We are going to be best friends. I smiled. Some kids showed me the class board. Others showed me the class project. Others talked so fast, I didn't even know what they said. I started to feel so excited about going to this school that I didn't even notice my mom was at the other end of the classroom. Settle down, class, Miss Sunshine said. You will all get a chance to be Emilia's friend when she joins our class next week. We said our goodbyes and head back to our car. The sun looked a little brighter in the sky. I even noted the beautiful flowers at the front doors of the school. So, what do you think of your new school, Amelia? Mom asked me as I strapped on my seat belt in the car. The school is going to be awesome! I grinned from ear to ear. The kids in Gray 1A had given me the biggest welcome to a new city. The end. Si te gustó este video, dale me gusta y no te olvides de suscribirte. También entra a www.creacosta.com para adquirir práctica de este y de otros temas, productos exclusivos y tener la oportunidad de matricularte a mis clases de inglés.